Welcome to this episode, which I'm calling Music Maestros Unplugged. Here we celebrate the passion and dedication of remarkable individuals in the world of music. Today, we have the privilege of diving into the world of the Around the Globe Piano Music Festival, a captivating event that has attracted audiences and pianists alike. We are honored to have Marina Petrov, the visionary behind this festival, join us to share her insights and experiences. Marina, it's a pleasure to have you here with us today. The Around the Globe Piano Music Festival has undoubtedly left a lasting impact on the piano music community. Can you tell us a bit more about the festival and how it all began? Uh, the pleasure is mine. Thank you very much for inviting me. So how it all began, it all began uh, in 2012 or 2013, can't remember exactly. But me and my colleague Maya, uh, uh, with whom uh, we cooperated on various other projects and concerts of different kind, um, and for our students as well, and uh, charity concerts and other professional concerts. So we had already kind of uh, uh, worked with each other on that. We, we went for a cup of coffee and I, and although it was long time ago, I vividly remember uh, that she said to me, well, how about we create a platform, platform when, uh, uh, where we can, uh, 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 where we can uh, sort of present uh, Balkan and Serbian composers who are lesser known in the UK, um, and um, that was it really. Is this um, Maya's, that, is her name uh, Maya, Maya Jordan? Maya Jordan, Maya yes, Jordan, Maya right. Jordan. And so, uh, it after that conversation, we took it seriously. I took it seriously that I, I was thinking about it, and then it took us about more than a year to actually uh, create. Uh, this around the globe uh, piano music festival um, and organize it and do the website, uh, uh, which this festival consisted of piano competition for junior and adults. It also included the Wiener recital and contemporary classic music concerts performed by professional musicians. In addition, in addition, I created a diverse program for the competition, which included traditional uh, classical uh, music style, but I also introduced an exclusive syllabus of piano style arranged within global and regional categories, such as contemporary classical music and jazz piano. And uh, the, the colleagues and the participants uh, found the educational program, uh, 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 this program quite educational. Um, and also uh, it promoted the, through this program, we promoted lesser known composers from around the world really, and UK as well. And so uh, due to the popularity of this competition, we were initially scheduled for three days. However, uh, the events were shortened for two days later on uh, as we were exhausted and uh, we had cost concerns. Because of that change, our jury panel with our esteemed adjudicator had to work harder and uh, longer hours due, our, uh, due to the high demand. Despite this, uh, they greatly supported us and uh, they were very enthusiastic, which helped our standards increase. Um, our, uh, our events uh, the main event of, of the uh, around the globe piano music festival was uh, based in this uh, lovely uh, uh, the lovely venue the study society in london in in kensington london uh, west w14 and we used the different studios they had large studios uh with uh, um, um, uh, uh, pianos um, and the first year we realized that um, the pianos was a bit um, too old for uh, our uh, lovely uh, uh, pianists, uh, amateur and professionals, especially when they play 20th century music. Mm -hmm. So therefore, uh, we uh, start cooperating with Marks and Pianos and seek help from them. And they start sponsoring us every single year 
oh. with the Yamaha Grant. So uh, which... Did you hit the ground running then with the first festival? Was the first festival a real success and bigger than you imagined it to be? Yes, absolutely. We were stunned uh, uh, by the number of contestants and people who were uh, interested in that. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, we had many uh, uh, um, um, professional, even pianists, who wanted to perform contemporary music. Uh, and they were, you know, they were not much of a platform. But also, at the, at the same time, we had many excellent um, uh, especially young players, I remember, uh, 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 some very, very talented uh, children uh, who played there. And I remember that was almost like a, 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 a kind of a, 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 a humorous that uh, he played, uh, uh, he won actually uh, the, the the first prize and he played a, a pathetic sonata by Beethoven. And then at the end of the at the end of the uh, 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 piece, when he finished, he came to the jury panel and said, "Sorry, but I broke one key." <laughs> <laughs> well, he must have played it pretty hard then, <laughs> pretty loudly. Yes, I'd imagine. Yes, but that was the first. You know, when we used the study society's um, uh, uh, old piano, All right. uh, because the piano was nineteenth century. I have to say, um, I've never broken a, a piano string or, or a key. <laughs> yes. Not yet. So we, Not yet. <laughs> yes. So we realized that we cannot continue using those pianos. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, I mean, they were very well tuned and so on. But, you right. know, old age, uh, uh, they, they had to be, uh, you know, they need to be fully refurbished, I think. Right. And so therefore, uh, we seek help with um, marks and pianos and... Yeah. Uh, so it was lovely and cooperating with the study society and with the Marks and Piano till 2019 right. uh, before the COVID uh, struck and with yeah. all this lockdown when we had to to change completely our uh, the way how we run our festival. And did you keep going during those uh, lockdown years? Did you keep absolutely? Yeah. We were uh, amongst the first one to actually, the same year, 2020, um, to actually completely uh, sort of uh, uh, change the, because of the change of situation, we were the only, uh, one of the rarest to actually go online. Yeah. And so um, many other competitions and festivals and piano competitions and so on, they stop, uh, you know, they just stop uh, uh, delivering. So you um, managed to transition then um, yes, from a live um, uh, to being a, an online platform for a for a period of time. Yes. Are you still going to maintain any of those elements? And that's all? yes, we're going to maintain, and we are maintaining this year the same. And the reason for that being, we have realised um, that it became more popular outside of the UK. Right. Uh, the online competition. So we had many contestants from different parts of the UK, actually, because the traveling, as we know, uh, 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 it's more expensive these days and uh, it, it, it takes more time. And it's Especially more coming into London. <laughs> yes, exactly. So we had many contestants from all around UK, but around Europe, from Singapore as well. And so we thought that we are going to uh, uh, continue uh, uh, with online competitions. And um, um, for example, we are expecting some competitors, more competitors from Serbia this year. Uh, we are expecting competitors from Thailand this year, and we'll see how the things are going. Right. Um... Now you mentioned um, that you were promoting. I know that the uh, the the Around the Globe Piano Music Festival does um, try does try to promote lesser known contemporary piano composers. Can you yes. share any of the success stories of composers or pianists who have benefited from the festival's platform? Absolutely, there are so many, and I was kind of because this is running now for a long period of time, but. Uh, I start to uh, sort of look in the past and remember, uh, for example, um, uh, pianist John Bailey, 
um, uh, who was a um, multiply winner um, of our piano music festival competitions in um, in adult category and he loved uh, performing many of contemporary um, um, uh, contemporary music works uh, one of which really kind of uh, it's it's on our youtube channel um it's uh, ogden bogdanovich memorabilia for example and know when you about ogden bogdanovich who is actually uh, ethnically serbian but he moved to uk about uh, 30 years ago um and it was uh, it's an excellent uh, piano work um, and really, John Bailey smashed it, <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, he promoted a lot of music by uh, uh, Lola Perrin, for example. But Lola Perrin um, was very popular at our festival, uh, so uh, uh, we had some master classes with her as well in the past, um, and uh, so her music became really a, a kind of more widely known. Um, later, uh, uh, we uh, Melanie Spanswick music as well was very popular, um, um, uh, and uh, I remember Jessica. I can't remember her surname, but uh, Jessica also was uh, uh, following us uh, for many years uh, before moving to Spain, uh, and she liked to perform Philip Glass, for example. But later on, she she started to do more research in our in our um, uh, sort of pieces that we tried to promote composers we tried to promote and she became very interested in playing uh, women composers for example and so we started receiving uh, later on when she moved to spain she said oh i want to make a concert um of women composers and so we would send her all these our lovely composers you music as well uh, was becoming uh, 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 more and more popular on, on our competition. So, um, and uh, well, many that was of music from the Hey Presto piano method book, yes, um, which uh, is really good for educational uh, purposes. Absolutely. So, uh, thank you very much for uh, you know yes. um, putting some of that music on your syllabus. It's uh, it's much appreciated. Yes. And so, when is the next uh, round of the uh, or um, edition of the Around the Globe Piano Music Festival? When's it all scheduled to take place? So first of all, we have to learn that. Uh, 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 that we have changed uh, our our name to around the globe uh, uh, around the globe international music festival and the reason for that being is that this year uh, we are uh, running four competitions of course piano uh, it's our ninth piano competition online but for the first time uh, we are merging uh, with accordionists and we are running for the first time the first accordion competition, which is a keyboard instrument uh, also. So that's the connection. And um, we are running piano composition um, nice. uh, competition. Um, and uh, it, it's our first one for adult and juniors. Uh, it's mainly for the short piece of piano composition up okay. to five minutes. And also, we are uh, running a young musicologist competition where, where the contestants um, uh, can write an article on contemporary composers, mm -hmm. uh, piano, yes, piano composers as well, or piano pieces. Uh, yeah. So it's all connected. We really we are kind of going around the piano. Uh, uh, yeah. For example, uh, our last winner last year winner of um, young musicologist competition was jacob scop who won the prize for writing an article about chicoria for example in his right. piano music so um we are trying to how to say uh to be uh, that our competitions are um uh, to be more expiring to be um, uh, uh, this very exciting. sounds very very diverse. Is this um is the competition now open to professional pianists or is it amateur or is it both? It always been open to professional pianists, um um as well as amateur pianists, and therefore 
to create that um, I created a, a program. So the program I have changed since since the uh, previous year uh, that everyone can actually uh, we have about 14 categories this year. So it would be age categories and program categories. And so under the age categories, I've made um, to be for professional pianists, but also for amateur pianists. Right. And so when when you kind of look at the age categories and program categories, everyone can fit in. And that's right. why we have so many categories. Right. It's about 14 for just piano competition that everyone can fit in. Because as you know, as you're a member of my uh, Facebook group, which is Adult uh, Piano Beginners, which you, you often give some advice to some to some of the the well, to some of the people asking the questions there, some beginners that ask uh, questions yeah. in the group. Um, I've got quite a, there are about 20,000 members so far. Um, would, would beginners uh, of that kind of, would you know, complete beginners or those two around the grade one, two level, is there a place for them? Yes. I think complete beginners is a bit too early. So what we put for beginners, really, uh, um, because uh, even after six months, it, uh, it depends how much you practice, of course. Yeah. But even after six months, you can come to a level of grade one or so. Even your pieces that hey presto, they're not simple no. at, the, at the very beginning of the book. But we call it intermediate. So yeah. intermediate, under intermediate, it's between grade one and three. So yeah. beginners can actually enter if something interesting to listen, of course, yeah. but absolutely they're very, very welcome to 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 participate uh, at this competition. Great. And um, are there any specific um, guidelines or requirements for the repertoire uh, that the participants need to follow during the uh, competition? Um, there is um, not much of restriction on the repertoire. Uh, again, I created that everyone uh, or can fit in any any kind of pianist, whatever amateur or professional. Um, so for style so, wise, then are we looking? Yeah, at... so styles we're going for baroque to modern. Uh, but uh, what I have done because on many competitions, uh, I'm not going to name which one, but I have found that they are kind of putting modern music and that's very vague what it means modern, modern music and yeah. then on some on some other competitions i found 20th century music like like we are not living in the 21st century oh. so um i have put uh, um for styles the 20th century music uh, under 20th century music for uh, uh, whoever wants to enter the pieces should be written up till 1974 because i didn't want it to i didn't uh, want to catch uh such almost like these these days traditional uh, uh styles like uh, just the Korish, for example it's a it's a pure classic or you know, yes yeah. because they're all 20th century yeah. but therefore the contemporary uh, uh classical style uh which include jazz uh right. which i i need to uh um, point this out uh, jazz without improvisation um so you've got jazz um jazz blues music and improvisations there yes well this is what i wanted to stress right. out so that's a, a innovation of our syllable so contemporary right. classical uh, 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 uh styles uh, you should choose uh or participants should choose the, the pieces written after 1975 Right. So, uh, as I said, not to to to, uh, to catch all this, so like Kobolevsky as well, traditional yeah. uh, styles, and we have many uh, other composers uh, uh, and British composers uh, and so on, uh, who are already kind of uh, uh, more traditional. Uh, so, um, we also have uh, uh, this new uh, uh, category jazz with improvisation this year right. because of proper jazz as we were saying because proper jazz should include improvisation so right. whoever wants to enter just the jazz pieces uh written jazz pieces and we have them many on our website with right. improvisation and without um like for example tim richards christopher norton we actually have some uh i think uh especially 
uh, 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 intermediate levels should check our uh, website for free scores we have yeah. from Christopher yeah. Norton, for example, right. um, uh, uh, it, it was exclusively gave us for, for this occasion, for this, yeah. um, uh, for this competition. Yeah. So uh, there we go. Everything Christopher for... Norton is a very prominent uh, in the in the jazz field uh, and, and writes lots of music for the board for the exam yeah. board as well doesn't he yes would you do accept uh accept transcriptions as a as a, as a jazz um entrance um perhaps with some a jazz transcription with some improvising or, or with absolutely yeah. absolutely absolutely yeah. yes uh so that would go under the uh, category of jazz with improvisation isn't it? because there are lots of uh, for example oscar peterson has done some amazing uh transcriptions uh which i've played a few of and, and they are just uh, amazing pieces of music as well yes so. absolutely 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 so that's the whole idea um and it was instigated with our cooperation with tim richards who is also becoming more and more famous in the world of jazz right that's great fantastic and um, are there any re kind of renowned musicians or judges from the piano world at the uh, at the next festival that are going to provide any master classes or uh, or feedback to the participants? Yeah, well, uh, our uh, festival this year with its competitions, um, the um, this year uh, we decided that adjudicators are only going to give a written feedback. Right. That uh, um, we will see. Uh, and explore, we will see the interest and we'll explore the, uh, explore this possibility to actually make some master classes as well for 2024. Right. Uh, from our esteemed adjudicators, including yourself, in Riches for Jazz, we have a, a, a award winning composer and pianist, uh, Monica Cardenas, uh, you know, Sanya uh, 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 Dracolic Rakovic. Um, uh, is uh, who is uh, um, um, American Serbian pianist as well. She's she's uh, um, absolutely a, 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 um, um, smashing pianist um, and great educator who lives in Hague. And we have so many more that I uh, uh, yeah uh, 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 um, um, Olya Jacobs as well, excellent pianist. And of course we have a Cordian is there. Uh, so yes, uh, and yourself. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like you've got a pretty good lineup there, really, of expertise yes, pretty there. Pretty good team, kind yes. Of, of feedback. And so, are you completely online this year, or is there any kind of live element at all? Oh yes, oh yes. Uh, one of the part of the award uh, will be the live concert um, in London. Uh, we've done for some time in June. Uh, uh, so, um, the winners, uh, it's going to be a winner's concert, uh, so the participant had plenty of time to prepare maybe another program, but the program should be within the scope of their categories, right. uh, if they want to perform at the at, at winner's concert, which will be in London. We are still looking for the venue, but we are kind of looking for the venues that we used before. Right. Uh, like Kensington, um, yeah, somewhere there. Okay, right. And so, when is the actual entry? When do when do people need to make their entries for for this um, coming festival? Yeah, the the entries are open right now. The, all the entries um, are, 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 can be made uh, on our website, including downloading the documents, downloading the files. Right. So um, it's uh, it's very updated. Uh, 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 we have updated our our uh, website as much as we could. Right. Uh, the registration is free. So the first round is actually a registration. It's free, and if the participants uh, are invited to the second round, then they can be uh, they can make payment also online. Um, um, uh, and uh, yeah, so they will be able to then make the payment towards the the fees. Yeah, if okay. you invite to a second round. Right. So, is there a deadline for the registration? Um, yeah, the deadline is going to be the twenty fourth of November. Twenty fourth of November. Um, yeah. So there's quite, plenty of time to prepare still. Got plenty of time. And so, when would it actually take place? Would they would have to enter and upload the video by then of yes yeah. yes they there 
to register, you need to upload your videos or if you're writing, you know, PDF files, uh, MP3 files. So it depends um, because all the entries regulations mm. uh, and regulations are online, which right. are or whoever interested parties can have a look. It's pretty thorough yeah. uh, um, and uh, quite, I went, went into details. Right. Uh, in addition, on every on every competition, you have additional guidelines how to enter and uh, 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 yeah, how to so it's enter. It's really like a one stop shop for music, piano music competitions, isn't it? Um, yes. You're competing against well, people from all over the world. Um, and yeah, it sounds like it could, it's going to be a really exciting festival. Um, Absolutely. So and deadline... it's going to be even more exciting. Uh, if we get the brilliance, because I have uh, quite a few who are doing the piano composition and right. we are delighted uh, around the globe music and arts are delighted that you that you are going to be part of the prize and perform <laughs> their pieces so that's, right. that's very very exciting and uh, few of my colleagues the war like um, uh, were saying oh how lovely maybe next year you can choose us uh, yeah, so I'll be looking forward to, uh, to, well, to whatever the composition is, going to yeah. the winning composition. I'll do my best to to, yeah. give it, to, to do justice to it. So, uh, yeah, yeah, look forward to look forward to that. Um, but yeah. yeah, it's a wonderful thing to promote music for uh, and 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 other composers, lesser known composers perhaps, and uh, and obviously to bring yeah. through new but, talent, uh, new musicians, new pianists. I think it's a really important job. Uh, that you're doing is there um so we're, we're getting to, to try and run through what um the stages are so the deadline is on the 24th of november okay. at what point does it get judged uh, is it all judged on that day or is it judged later on um now uh we have actually also on our website the schedule yeah um the schedule which is in entries and regulation so all the contestants uh, will receive our emails uh if they accept it in a second round by 11th or on the 11th of december and after that in january we will have a winner's announcement uh, which would actually be a live uh on, on, on online live zoom uh, uh, uh platform on zoom platform so you know if you look at this schedule um you know everything is going to be a bit more clear when and how um and so on and so it's going to be announced in december you said um is that right no the winners <laughs> are going to be announced um, on the 14th of january right okay and then the winners concert is in is in june it's going to be in june yes right okay well that sounds like a real promising future for the festival um is there anything Thank else you. that you want to add at this point well, I, think I, just I may want have not to... asked, which I should have asked. <laughs> yes. Well, I, I would like to thank you again for inviting me uh, for uh, for this uh, lovely interview, and I want uh, uh, to thank all who are involved, all the jury panel, uh, and everyone who helped us because we have volunteers as well. Um, uh, I would like to to thank uh, Maya, uh, uh, you know, for. Uh, 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 for cooperation and supporting all this uh, quite strongly, my colleague uh, Maya Jordan. I want to also uh, thank Phoebe Smith uh, for doing the um, some editorial, helping with, with editorial side of it, and Nick Young with marketing. And I want to thank Promovo uh, 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 and Pippa Stretchum who actually develop our lovely website. Right. Well, thank you. Um, for, thank you for sharing your insights and passion for music uh, today. It's been a pleasure you. having you on uh, this episode, which I'm calling Music of Maestros Unplugged. Yes. So yes. thank you, Marina. Thank um, you. But and, and that concludes our com captivating conversation with Marina, who's the driving force behind the uh, Around the Globe International Music Festival. We hope you are as inspired as we were by Marina's dedication to showcasing the diversity and brilliance of piano music from around the world. And until the next time, keep the music alive.
Thank you. Bye-bye. If you've been longing to embark on your own musical adventure, now is the perfect time to take that first step. At Adult Piano Beginners, we are offering a special promotion to our listeners. The online course is designed specifically for adult learners aged 11 and upwards who are eager to discover the joy of playing the piano. Whether you're a complete beginner or someone looking to refresh their skills, this course provides a supportive and engaging learning environment and I will be there every step of the way. By taking advantage of this offer, you'll gain access to comprehensive video lessons, practice exercises, and a supportive community of fellow learners. So why not harness the power of music to enrich your own life? Simply visit adultpianobeginners.com to redeem this exclusive offer and begin your own piano journey today. Remember, it's never too late to embrace your musical passions and unlock the transformative potential of the piano. Thank you again for tuning in, and until next time, Keep the melodies alive.